Hi everyone, welcome to Prakash Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain Prime Numbers Python program. So first, what is a prime number? A number that is divisible only by itself and one is called a prime number. A prime number is a natural number greater than one that has no positive divisors other than one and itself. Suppose for example, the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, like that. So now here these are the five numbers. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, like that. These are the prime numbers. So now here 1 is not a prime number. 1 is not a prime number. So these numbers are divisible by itself and 1. And other than remaining numbers are not divisible. Suppose for example we have to consider the number 7. So this number 7 is divisible by 1 and itself only. So which is a natural number? That 7 is a natural number which is greater than 1 and which is divisible by only itself and 1. So other than these two numbers and 1 and itself, itself is not divisible. So 7 is not divisible. 7 by 2 and 7 by 2, 7 by 3, 7 by 5 are not divisible. Now coming to the program. So Python program to display all prime numbers within an interval. Now here we have to consider initial value and final value. And the starting number is equal to int of input of enter the starting number and upper value. End number is equal to int of input of enter the ending value. So now here the input function takes the user input value and the integer function takes pure integer values. So that is the importance of the input function and integer function. So now we have to consider the for loop. So print of prime numbers between start start underscore number Now consider the for loop for num in range of starting number starting underscore number comma end underscore number plus one. Suppose for example we have to consider the prime numbers. Here I am considering the starting number is 5 and ending number is 15. Starting number is 5 and ending number is 15. So starting number is 5 and ending number is 15 mean the range of the numbers are so range of the numbers are 5 comma 5 6 
नाइन टेन इलेवन Arrange the starting number is five and ending number is fifteen. So fifteen plus one means sixteen. So range of five comma sixteen means it displays the range of numbers are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now the starting number is five and ending number is fifteen. So Range of five comma fifteen means it displays up to five to sixteen. Because of that, here we have to consider range of starting number comma ending number plus one. So what is the ending number here? Fifteen. Fifteen plus one is sixteen. So range of fifteen comma sixteen means it displays the range of the numbers are five to fifteen. Five to fifteen. And after that, con consider the if condition. If the condition is number greater than one, number greater than one. So number greater than one. If the number is greater than one. It is with uh, it is whether the number is prime number or not. So now here we have to consider another for loop for i in range of two comma number. So now consider the condition. If condition if number modulus i equal to equal to zero. Now the starting range of the number is five. The starting range of the number is five. So using this condition, so for i in range of two comma number, and the range of the numbers are five to fifteen, and the starting number is five. So i in range of two comma five. So the range of numbers are i is equal to two, three, four, so the range of i numbers are i is equal to two, three, four. So what is the condition? If condition if Number modulus i equal to equal to zero. If the remainder is zero, if the remainder is zero, it is not a prime number. If the remainder is not equal to zero, it is a prime number. So now here the number five is divisible by i is equal to two, three, four, and five by two. So number is five. Five by two. Remainder is not equal to zero. Remainder is not equal to zero. 
to the remainder not equal to 0, it is the prime number. And let's check the i number. Now i number is 3, pi by 3 is not equal to 0, remainder is not equal to 0. And the next number is 5 by 4, dividing 5 by 4, so remainder is not equal to 0. Now here, number 5 is not divisible by 2, 3, 4, remainder is not equal to 0, so the number 5 is a prime number. Now coming to the program, now here, so condition is not satisfied, if condition is not satisfied, it goes to the else loop, print the prime number and it goes to the next number and the next number is 6, next number is 6. For i in range of 2 comma 6 mean the range of numbers are 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number is 6. 6 by 2. So 6 is divisible by 2. So remainder is 0. The condition is satisfied. And now here we are using the break statement. The important of the break statement is the break statement is used to stop the execution and brings the control out of the loop. So, so now here the condition is satisfied. This number is not printed. So 6 is not a prime number. And similarly, repeat the same process. So now, run the program. Enter the starting number. The starting number is 5. And ending number is 15. Now we are the spelling mistake and you am starting underscore number. So now run the program and the starting number is 5 and ending number is 15. So the prime numbers are between 5 to 15, 5, 7, 11, 13. So find out the Number of 5 numbers. So between 5 to 15, how many 5, five numbers are there? So this program will be modified, little bit modification. Here we have to consider primary number of the empty list. Prime number equal to consider the empty list. Now we will use the append method. So prime number dot append of number. So print of number of prime members. And the program enter the starting number, the mayor number 5, enter the ending number or upper number 15. So the prime numbers are 5, 7, 11, 13. So the number of prime numbers, the number of prime numbers now here 
length of prime number length of prime number So the number of prime numbers between starting number and ending number are both 5, 7, 11, 13. So this is the concept of the Python program to display all the prime numbers within the intervals and count the number of prime numbers between starting number and ending number.